Hey everyone, it's Tammy from Tammy Colors 2, and today is another continuation of my coloring book collection. So, let's get started. This will be patterns and mandalas, uh, and maybe a little bit of weird stuff um, that doesn't fit, but kind of fits in my brain as like a pattern y kind of thing. Um, so hopefully it makes sense. I just feel like patterns and mandalas, and to be honest, because I, I needed to divide some of my Camellia Angel Cobra because my shelf isn't big enough. <clears throat> but <laughs> um, I feel like patterns and mandalas are a little bit different than other things. Like, at least me, I'm kind of either looking to do a mandala or I'm looking to do something else. So anyway, so in that we have Tabitha Barnett. Now, the first three I actually have as PDFs that I printed out. I don't think I can, I don't, I'm pretty sure I didn't flip through the whole book, or didn't print the whole book. Um, but I have Garden Circles, and I consider her circles to be like mandalas. Well, she has a lot of mandalas. Obviously, as I turn to the mandalas. <laughs> but uh, I may have printed this whole book. I just don't remember, uh, but this will give you an idea of what's in it. Her, I love Tabitha Barnett. I love her mandalas. She's one of my faves. So this is Garden Circles. And I think I printed out the front part because the back part has black images. It has like the same mandalas, I think done in black, if I remember. It's been a while since I looked at the PDF. circles which I haven't nearly let me see what I did with this one I think I just printed a few they're all mandalas and they are so cute I think I just printed a few yep I, ever since I've done these, I have started printing them all off smaller so that I can see all the mandalas, so that way I, or all the pictures in a PDF book. That way I can, um, you know, pick a picture. And I actually have, because you know, like most people, if it's not physically on my shelf, it's hard for me to pick it. This is Celestial Circles. Celestial things. They are beautiful, especially like celestial mandalas. And hers are beautiful. Planets. I don't think I have a flip through. I'm sure somebody has done a flip through. She had a sale once and I bought like a bunch of her mandala books. But then I have, I have a few of hers on PDF, but this is the only mandalas that I have and I haven't done any of them because that's why I'm trying to figure out how to get my PDFs out where I can touch them and pick them. Okay, rest of her books. I have It's Fall, y'all. So this is a Tabitha Barnett. And so this is the way her mandalas are too. The back of the book has them done in black, which is why I didn't print them out because I didn't want to waste my printer ink. Um, and then this one. Then you have her broken circles and her mandalas in a white background. And I sort of never finished this pumpkin, I think. So I'll mark it as a whip and I just, just come back in and do whatever I need to do there. I did this one in all 
um, Sakura glaze pens is what I did to make it look like candy wrappers. <laughs> and then I did this one. This is the first page in the book. Look at me getting all fancy, putting, putting ink in the background. And so that's all I've done in there. Then I have To the Moon and Back, a celestial coloring book by Tabitha Barnett. So again, images in the back are on a black background. Not, I can't remember if it's all of them or if it's just some of them. But I like how she gives you the option. So these are kind of like mandal mandalas. I just don't like the printing. Like this, I've had this for a while, so it kind of curls. They've gotten a little better, but still you can get a book that curls. Uh, broken circles, I think. Maybe I don't have Broken I thought I had all of her Broken Circles books Oh, uh, I bet I don't have Broken Circles too for a reason I think it's the one I don't like So these are the Black background ones And then it has all kinds of seasons in it all kinds of broken circles. If you've never seen her broken circles, they're just amazing. Uh, look. look at this. I have a whip. Tammy just starts things and then never finishes them. I love this one. And like I said, I don't have broken circles too, because I think that that's the one I don't like. I have Broken Circles 3. That or she just didn't have it on sale when I was buying these. But this one I think I bought like last year finally. Um, and the printing is much better now. Cute, cute, cute. Very cute. Uh, let's see. Then there is floating mandalas, floating 3D mandalas, which you may know that not last year, but the year before in 2022, me and Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors um, completed floating 3D mandalas volume two, which has a green cover. Now I don't have that in my stack because it's in my completed books box, but I can get that out. Um, and these just, they're so beautiful. But yeah, in the whole year we did, we did an entire mandala book and it was so much fun. We did so many things with it. So I mean, when I get done with my coloring book collection videos, the last one I do, I'll do my completed books. There's not very many. <laughs> That's like five. Um, but then y'all see that. This one I love, Tangled Hearts. Um, I did this page a long time ago. It was just done in pencils. I don't remember which pencils I did it did it with, but I love this page. It's one of my favorite pages ever, entirely in pencil. Um, here's the blotter page. I stick blotter pages in a lot of my books, so I'll have them. Or if I'm working in a book and I put a, a page in it then I just leave it that way it's always in there it makes it a little bit awkward that's all um all hearts and everyone knows I love hearts love hearts tangled hearts so there you go there's that and circles of love by Tabitha Barnett which is another mandala book I love the 
love these books. Oh, yeah. So this one, I actually did both versions. I did the bear, and then I went and did it. I actually did it the exact same way just to see the difference in the pages. So I know that's the only one I've done in this book. But they are gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Circles of love. Let's see, then we have some Jade Summer. Um, this isn't a mandala and it's not, it's not a mandala, it's not a pattern. Well, it is kind of a pattern. So this is Summer Silhouettes. This came out way before they had their color by number one. Um, so these are, you're supposed to color them, I guess, with one color. I've never, I don't think I've ever done one. But they end up looking like that when you color them in, because they're silhouettes. But this is what they look like. And this is what I've really stopped buying, is these black-backed pages on this kind of paper and it sucks. I will make exceptions for the ones, the artists or publishers that I really like, like Jade Summer. Um, the paper's gotten a little bit better, so that helps. I just, uh, sometimes I have good luck with it, sometimes I don't. Flower Animals, one color coloring book. Uh, this was before they had the color a number version. Way before. We've got different animals. I think I did one. I did the chicken. Chicken, chicken. Of course, it's supposed to be one color, but I don't do one color. Love the chicken. Simple. Simple, simple. Okay, now I have some of Jade Summer's uh, pattern books. Intricate flowers. I do have some done in here. And this one is fairly intricate. I've had this one for a while. I did this one with Penny from, uh, I can't remember what her channel name is. She doesn't do videos anymore. Her channel is still out there. Um, I can't think of her channel's name right now. <laughs> but this is so, so, it's a pretty book. But, uh, whew. Very intricate. Intricate patterns by Jade Summer. More very intricate patterns. I like patterns. Uh, I, did I complete this? Yes. I completed this. This is done. I did it last year in July. I just have pens by the couch because I keep a lot of these by the couch. And then I'll just pick up pens and start working on them. Elegant Patterns by Jade Summer. Let's see. There we go. I don't, I think those were the extras yeah oh yeah so starting see that's from amazing dogs so right here starts the but they label them on the back I guess so you know where they start I'm surprised I haven't did I do one in here? I guess I haven't. I thought that I did, but it wasn't this one. Oh, here's an old, old. The one that everyone doesn't like, I think. Um, color by number, Patterns of a Jade Summer. It was like their first color by number, and people really didn't like it. And I have started not to. <laughs> because it just, something about the color palette was, you know, it was their first try. I don't remember what I was doing here. Or if I was going to finish it. I was doing something, but I don't remember what. It might actually be done. Because I started doing other stuff, or I just never finished it. I could put it in, I could mark it as a whip, though. Why not? Okay, and then this, this was actually a, um, I remember now, it was a challenge, 
pick five or six markers or pick pick your markers blindly and then color so I would color every you know number two with the color I picked and number three with whatever color I picked I have a video on it and then this one I did with a palette challenge or something I don't remember but it was a challenge because I like the patterns but I didn't like their color palette so I kept it and I keep thinking of getting rid of it <laughs> uh, and here's beautiful patterns color by number by Jade Summer now I started in the back on this one And I can't remember if their color palette or if their picking of colors got any better. And the palette's not different. This one wasn't too far, but the printing is much better on this one. Beautiful pattern. Just been out for a while. Uh, 2021. And the one before, like the color by number one, is 2020. So and this is 2024, so that's four years. But, um, yeah, I don't know if they got better at their color. It seemed like it, but it was hard to tell. And then the last pattern book I have by Jade Summer is 100 Amazing Patterns. I kind of feel like if I have this one, I probably don't need the other color and number ones. Um, I should just, when I get rid of my books, if I've colored in them, I take the pages out that I colored. And if I end up selling them or giving them to someone, then I mark that I took out this many pages that I colored so they know. Um, and then I've got my Alexandra Franzis Mandalas, Floral Mandalas. And you will find that, uh, sadly enough, most of these are untouched. But I really like them. So there's that one. Fall mandalas. Very cute. I don't remember, did I? It seems like me. Did I do one in here? Did I intend to? I bet I intended to. I bet I was going to sit down and do a video and then I decided not to do this one. Spooky mandalas. Oh, so cute. I haven't had this one for very long because I really like it. Summer Mandalas. I have not had this one very long either. Well, maybe since last year. It's been out for long, like a year longer than I've had it. No, maybe not. Maybe I did get this one last year because it came out in 2023. So it must not have been that one. It's probably the Spring Mandalas. This one was a gift. Um, this one must have come out in 2022, maybe? Or it came out early in 2023. It's so adorable. I love her. Mandalas. Let's see. Yeah, it must have come out early in 2023, and I didn't get it. And then, um, uh, Robin gave me, gave it to me as a gift in the fall. I think it was like, because it was on my wish list, so that was cool. Okay, so next we'll do the Camellia Angel Covas in no particular order. I have spring 50 springtime mandalas. And I really, I could, I could just sit down and do nothing but her mandala books all the time. This one's been around for a while. Oh, gosh. I was trying to finish this like last month. This is an old whip. And I was trying to finish it in... May or I think it was in May I was up in Ann Arbor and because all I had done was the nest and I started doing this and then <laughs> I kept like I I spilled my drink on it or something and I'm like oh this is just oh <laughs> I am gonna finish it though it's almost done um and I was gonna like trim the page out <laughs> I don't know I did do that one. 
I never finished those. I have such good luck um, doing like um, marker blending in these books for some reason. I don't know if it's just my inspiration or what. So this is 50 Hearts to Color by Camellia Angelkova. I did this. There was a, a palette. Um, it was actually a palette challenge, I think. I don't know why it's still marked. I need to get rid of that. Um, so I still have the colors that I picked in case I ever want to use it again. And it was a buddy color with Kathy from Spicy Cat Colors. We did this one. 50 Hearts to Color. 50 Autumn Mandalas. Tea, squirrels. I know part of my problem is I go from front to back, but that way I do pictures that I don't really want to. I love this. I love how this came out. Oh, and then this was a whip forever, and then I finally finished it. I don't usually get that fancy. And I did this one. I love using gel pens on these. And then I always, I always do her, I always want to do her book plates first. I love them. Like one of the few books, like I'll do all of the things <laughs> here. This is usually where I start and it kind of gives me my base for my inspiration in the book. We have Christmas Mandolins, which is her only really tiny book. Square. I, you know, I don't know if anybody ever asked her why, why she did this one in square, but uh, this is the one that I've done in it. It came out pretty good. I was wondering if I did. Oh yeah, I never finished it. Okay, fifty summertime mandalas, which are just. I know a lot of people don't like pictures in the center of their mandalas. I like them always, pretty much. So, I did this one, which, you know, I'm trying to get good at background. This one, I love how it came out. I never did finish my shells. Shells are hard for me. But I did this one. This one really captivated me. Gel pens and marker. All I use in her books are really marker and gel pen. That's all I use. Um, 50 romantic mandalas and heart designs. I've had this one for a while. It is cute. She hasn't, she hasn't done one of these in a long time. I started this one. I think I started it this year. This one was a whip. No, oh, nope, it still is. <laughs> I got two. I got two whips in here because I keep trying to finish this picture, and it just doesn't thrill me. But I'm gonna finish it eventually. So I got two whips in here. And then I did this. That was like with marker, marker and pencil, I think. And I did this one, which is I think the first one. Yeah the cover image. I just go front to back unless someone wants to do a body color and do a different picture because I find it too hard to choose. 50 Halloween mandalas. It's very very cute. <laughs> it's been so long since I've looked through some of these. Oh yeah, this is the one that whatever markers I was using a million years ago when I did this bled. It was a whip, so I never finished it. I keep meaning to, so I'll just cover it up somehow. And like it bled, it's the orange, orange in whatever marker set I was using, which is disappointing. I use my glaze pens in this to make them shiny. Did I do? No, nope, I started to do that in pencil. 
I don't always manage 50 wintertime mandolins. One of them, I, I think it's this one. Is it this one? Oh, it must be the miniatures. One of them, I have one done all the way in the back. And it's a Christmas one, so I think it's the miniature book, though. I love these bears. I did this, I did that a couple of years ago. And this, I need to do the writing. Oh yeah, and here. Sometimes I just love what I do and then I go to a picture and then I'm like, oh, this is terrible. Sun and Moon Mandela coloring book. This one I wanted to do like all in gel pens. <laughs> Lawnmower. So that was a lawnmower backfiring because they were doing, uh, landscapers were there mowing a lawn. Um, so I was looking at this book and uh, I realized how fast I was going. So I'm going to try to go slower, but I can't go too slow because, you know, we'll never get through this. There's a lot of books. Um, so this is a whip that I have in here and I wanted to do my plan was to do this book in glitter gel pen and I wanted to use the yellows and the blues and the silvers you know um, a color palette like this <clears throat> excuse me oops I gotta put them over here that was my whole plan uh, 50 spiral mandalas this one is an untouched book I actually haven't had this book that long I was um, I don't know, sometime, it was either late last year, I think it was late last year, I was collecting some of the books of hers that I don't have, and I just, especially her mandala books, I don't have all of them, I don't need all of them, um, but there were certain ones that I, that I wanted, and this was one of them, and I just, ugh. the spiral mandalas are beautiful, if you haven't seen them, 50 spiral mandalas. It came out in 2019. 50 Clover Mandalas. And this one was from 2021. So I did the book plate page. And this was, I love to do these in glitter gel pen. I mean, that's just, I think that's the only one that I've done. And these are just gorgeous. I love these kind of... Her mandalas are so beautiful. I want to get the 50 elongated ones that she did. Or She just came out with a mandala book not too long ago. But yeah, I wanted to do this book in greens and golds and purples. And kind of have a theme going with glitter gel pen. And then the last mandala book I have is from Camellia Angel Cova is Flower Mandalas, 40. 40 floral mandalas. This one's one of the older ones that she's, she's had out. This is one of her first mandala books, actually. And it has beautiful mandalas in here. I have done one. I think this was a color palette challenge. I did it in August of 2021. I love my colors. Look at that. This one came out in 2018, so it's been around a while. Then uh, I have two pattern books by Dina Stone. Well, I have a pattern and a mandala book by Dina Stone. So this is 100 Patterns, uh, and the publisher is Dina Stone. This one came out in 2021, and this is 100 Patterns. It's a beautiful pattern book. If you want, want lots of patterns, all kinds of different things. There's dragonflies. It's just anything you can think of is in this book. It's a, it's a nice book. I love this pattern book. So I think there's a flip. Yeah, there's a flip through on my channel of this one. And then 100 Mandalas from Dina Stone. 
I haven't had time to do anything here, but these are just, I like their mandolas also. And there is a flip through of this one on my channel if you want to see them all in detail. And of course, you know, it's a little late now, but if you want to see, uh, if you can't find a flip through and you want one, please let me know. I think at some point I might put, make sure I have flip throughs of all of my books um, on my channel because I know there's some that I haven't done flip throughs of. This one's kind of a odd man out. Um, this is One Colored Dots Around the World by Jennifer Rowling. Um, and it's all dots and you just color them. Of course, I probably won't do them in one color. And this is all places like the Eiffel Tower and Big Ben. I haven't done this. I love Jennifer Rowling has some interesting stuff. Here's the back kind of shows you the pictures. So there are 25 just Jennifer Rowling and Cactus Girl, they're all like the same moniker. Come out with some really cool things. Uh, and this was one that I wanted to try. So I kind of stick it in with my mandalas because it's, it's kind of like a mandala. Um, I think this is another Jennifer. Is this a Jennifer Rowling one? Comfort Coloring Press. No, this is different. This is... A totally odd. I must be into the only one of publishers. Well, sort of. Uh, 2022. I think I got this because I wanted another pattern book. It's beautiful. I love the dark lines. I really... <clears throat> I'm picky about my pattern books. Uh, so, if I really like one, I tend to get it because... I don't like all that many of them. Um, Karen Lewis, Modern Damask Motifs. There are 30 images in here. I saw this on Doodle Robots channel, and this one is intricate. But they are just beautiful. Beautiful damask motifs, and um, love those. Then this is Relaxing Patterns, Adult Coloring Book. Uh, this one is Be Jeanette Vero Veronia. Or Jeanette Veronica. Is that it? Jeanette. Oh, Jeanette Veronica. I was reading the that, and it's right there. <laughs> um, but these are really cool patterns. It's kind of a mishmash. Um... I liked the unusualness of their patterns. They were they were a little bit different um, the way they did them. Did I start one? Oh yeah, this one I started because I keep these, like I said, by the couch downstairs. And I just pull them out and I have a bunch of pens and markers and stuff and just work on them. So as I get time or as I'm sitting down there. Obviously, I don't sit in front of the TV a lot. <laughs> then this one I love. This one is um, A World of Stress Relieving Patterns by Kim Mansumer. Does it say his name where it's not weird? Mansumer. Kim Mansumer. 2023. I bought this and I bought it last year. I did this one. I should put some glitter gel pen on here is what I should do. But uh, it just has a bunch. I know I know there's a flip through of this. It's a bunch of pattern. It's more like patterny pictures than just patterns. Um, but there's just some really gorgeous patterns in here. I really, really like this one. Then, let's see, we've got Design Originals Woodland Mandolins, which is a really super cute book. Um, these are kind of like magazines. This is a buddy color I did a couple years ago with um, Jojo Zahanna. We both have this book, and I love how that, that mandala came out. Um, I collect 
these magazines, the ones that I like. There are a ton of design originals. It's not really a magazine, it's a book, but it seems like a magazine to me. And they always put examples and tips and things in the front. Um, Thania McArdle did this one. She's done a bunch of them. They have different artists at, time, at times, but you'll find common, often you'll find the same artist. But um, I love collecting these. And I've got cat mandalas, illustrated by Ava Carrera, and these are super cute cat mandalas. Just so much fun. <laughs> there aren't like a ton, it's not a huge book, but yeah, very cool. Let's see then. Um, pull some of these out. So there is another artist. I've had her stuff for a long time. C.L. Aldridge. She has a, a YouTube channel, but she hasn't posted any videos for a couple of years. She used to do lives all the time. Um, but uh, she, this was like, I think the first mandala book I ever had. And uh, it's a square one, obviously. And I was having so much fun with it. These are some of the first mandalas I colored. This one is my favorite. I love, love this. I obviously haven't finished that one because this one didn't speak to me much. I love this one. That one was tough. And then I didn't use a blotter page when I was doing this one. <laughs> and then that's the, I just, this was the first marker blending I did. Um, some of the first coloring I did was in this book. I just loved it. I was going to complete it and then I ended up getting other books. And so she also has, I think she has, I can't remember how many books she has. Um, Dragons, Flowers, and Mandalas. Oh my. So this is kind of a pattern. It's got mandalas and dragons mixed in. She loved doing mandalas and little images. I just, look at this. Look how awesome that is. And then a dragon mandala. <clears throat> and she just mixes the pictures in. I love this book. And then in the back, which is what I was looking at to begin with, there was a, a separate set. This, I thought there was a separate set of small images or something. Oh, yeah. Like, where is it? A full set of craft and greeting card bonus pages. So they're five by seven. So they're images that are in this book. Um, but she's made them smaller so you could put them on greeting cards or something. And she's told you that's what they're for. You don't have to guess. So that was really cool. Um, there's a lot of them. I mean, it's a, I think it's a second set of all the images. And then uh, she puts in sample pages from, these are all of her books. Like this one. I kind of like that one. I'm going to check that book out. Flowers and Dreams. I'm going to have to get that one. And then... The adult coloring book of flower inspiration and then flowers and flyers so she has birds and stuff so she has a ton of of books on amazon um and then you can follow her 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 youtube channel is cl cl aldridge art and she has a website she was fun to watch um she would do lives all the time and Back when I had time but she has her books are so much fun so I think I need to pick up some of her other books anyway then I have three books well technically I have five books 
from a wonderful artist by the name of Nicola Lehman. She does mandalas. She has all kinds of mandala books. I have the mandalas with beautiful borders. She did a collection of volumes one, two, and three. They do come in separate mandala, separate volumes, and then volume five, four, and five. And then I think there's a six out that I don't have, which she'll probably do a, a collection again. But they are, as advertised, mandalas with beautiful borders. <clears throat> I love them. I did I did this one. I did Color Cube. I was going to go through this book and just do Color Cube Palette 1, Color Cube Palette 2, Color Cube Palette 3. <laughs> That's That was my plan with this book. Let's see, and then here's Mandalas with Beautiful Borders 4. I don't remember if I did flip through to these. And then five. But I may have enough mandalas to keep me busy for a while. This one has, these are really dark. Maybe it's just my imagination. Nope, it's my imagination. So those are the Mandalas of Beautiful Borders by Nicola Lehman. Um, I have dots and european building buildings uh, this is the white version she does have a black background version by laura wokal she uh does has tons of these books um, i have the halloween one also and you just color the dots yep it's fun dots and dinosaurs And I have cute mandalas. Get coloring and have fun. This one is they are they are very cute mandalas. I know that there are flip throughs. This is a very popular book and it is adorable. It's by Apsi Sumansiri. Siri thought I was talking to her. <laughs> and then last but not least, a cute, cute little book called Monstre dans le Mandala, or The Monster in the Mandala. And this is just a cute little book, and there's a, a monster inside of every mandala, and they are adorable. They have, she's got um, Emily... A E M I L I E Fluffy. She has several books. I just got these on Amazon US. Um, she's obviously French, but uh, yeah, it was fun. And they're simple mandalas. Um, so very cute. She's got unicorn in the mandala. Um, all kinds of them. So so I also found this in my. Um, finished pages that I forgot about. So I wanted to throw that in really quick. 50 Snowflakes to Color by Camellia Angelkova. These beautiful little snowflakes. My idea was to do um, blues and greens, you know, and silvers, because they're all snowflakes. And I did this one. This is part of my March finished pages. All in glitter gel pen. I loved it. And I did do um, this, obviously, in glitter gel pen. They come out great. Okay, so that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Now, I had, a, I had a request to do Creative Haven books, which will take a little bit. But I'm going to do them all in one video. They're all on one shelf. Uh, so we will do those next, I believe, if anybody is interested. I have a lot. <laughs> I don't know how long that video will take, um, but 
Uh, if you are interested in anything else or you see something and you go, can, you, can I see all of your blah, blah, blahs? You know, um, let me know. I'm always willing to help a person out or help you see something. I mean, I got to get them all in anyways. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate y'all. Um, I will see you in the next video. And until then, be safe and be happy. Bye.